Creamfield Hangar, the Creamfield Music Festival is coming. One of the biggest music music festival in England. And this land being prepared, all these big big hangars coming. This will be this will be a music stage. You can you can imagine the size of this stage. So there will be you can you can put few aeroplanes inside. It is that big. was stopped by that excavator and I am driving off-road now <laughs> that is not a good yeah that's the company designing the hangar they called me in so we were helping them providing them some some guidance some consultancy so now I am back and going back. So you can imagine how big this space would be. There's the hangers. Uh, let me turn back just to show you the hangers. Yeah, that's the one. Very big. So now we're getting out. This is one and then few more coming on the other side. Yeah, that's the one. And it, usually it's, it's all farmland, it's all countryside, but before the festival they will all come, they prepare, they build the stages, there will be many stage. It's a quite expensive, tickets are like two, three hundred pounds per, per person. And thousands and thousands of people comes here. Many arrests as well. People try to sell drugs. Uh, let me make a U-turn just to show you around how big this space is. One, one is that big warehouse, and this is this is the stage where I, I came out. So let's go out. This is only two of them. There's many more on the other side. So first time I came inside this this called Cream Field Music Festival. Every year, end of August, for three, four days, and it is second biggest music festival in UK or in Europe. First one is Glastonbury, which is down south near London, and then this is the second best. These are all our technicians. They will be working here for next two, three weeks, and then get everything ready by by the end of month. So there is another stage, third stage will be here. So there will be several stages like that and all this open land peoples will put their own tents so everybody comes here they they bring their tents they put their tents on and they stay here for next two three days two nights or depends on your ticket some will have only one night ticket some will be two some will be three nights and they will stay here enjoy the music 24 hours mostly drunks <laughs> mostly they're drunk dancing around It, it, it is one of the interesting things, yeah. especially for young people. So this is all for technicians. All these temporary roads goes away once the music festival is finished because this is all farmland. They cannot build something permanent here. This is one entrance. This is entrance only for these technicians and production staff. On my right, there will be a big, big space. This will be tents here, all the tents around here.
Unfair or fair? <laughs> but it will be enjoyable. We can get free pass from the company. We helped, but uh, I'm not a fan of music a lot. Except I can, I, I want to listen in the, in the while driving. Otherwise, I'm not. Yes, if it's a classical Bollywood or Pakistani music, then I would love it. So this is one of the most beautiful road, more scenic route in Cheshire, in northwest of England, where this music festival is. Very green, very beautiful. Some massive big houses on the left. This is the place where cream cream field will be held on my right. All these yellow signboards are for cream field deliveries and production staff. It takes them three weeks to three four weeks to get everything ready, and same, same around two weeks when they are, when they dismantle everything off to the festival. Roads are busy, early morning traffic, 